Hey, good morning, good morning, and happy Monday to you. So glad you're getting your day and your week started with us, a South by Week. Here on Studio 512, I'm Rosie. I'm Vasavi. Thank you for starting your morning with us today. We are so excited. We have a Hot Topics guest with us today, Grant Rosenmeyer. Hi, Grant. How Hi. are you? How's everybody doing? I'm good. How are you? We are doing great now that you're here. I'm waking up. Yeah? You know, he said he's a little slap happy. Not enough sleep, well, but that's the, that's the idea. they set the or whatever. What so a cruel joke. Waking up in the dark, it's, you know, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. It's like it's 5 in the morning. I know. Yeah, I got problems. Stuff. Who do I take this up with? That's what <laughs> I want to know. Mother Nature, I think. Mother you, Nature. Yeah, you got to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you were here because your film, Come As You Are, mm -hmm. just premiered this past weekend, yes, correct? Yes, on Saturday, yeah. Okay, and so this was a movie about a young man who has disabilities mm. and wants to embrace his independence. Yes. And so we like to kind of get to know if, our if guests. If you want to call going, you know, three, right. three guys with disabilities going to a brothel in Montreal that caters to people like them uh, so they can lose their virginity. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're all embracing our independence. It yeah. is an adult movie yeah. theme, it to is. say it's the least. Yeah, but it's, it's a good one. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about, um, <coughs> like, I know Gabri Sidibe is yeah. in the movie. And Ravi Patel, Hayden Cito, Janine Garofalo plays Ooh, my mom. I love Janine Garofalo. Uh, C.S. Lee from, um, what's that show? Dexter. Oh yeah, yeah. that's a great show. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's in the movie, he's amazing. Yeah, yeah tell us a little cast. bit about yeah the cast <laughs> and, and the recording and all of that. Um, well, uh, it was, I mean, it all kind of came together really quickly and I also produced the film. Um, I didn't know yeah, that. I just, yeah. I'm hang like, on, oh, hang okay. on. Oh yeah, this is going to be... Coming uh, in hot. Uh, like coming hot. in hot. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, so it was just kind of like my passion project for about uh, six years. Um, and uh, a really good friend of mine wrote the script, and I always wanted to do it, and but I never had the opportunity because they were trying to make it as this big studio mm -hmm. movie. Um, and then it just kept, uh, as a lot of really good movies do that that are you know maybe a little bit trickier to make, they just come together, fall apart, come together, fall apart, mm -hmm. and then I was mm -hmm. able to swoop in there and and, and say it. like I want to, <laughs> I'll, I'll make it, you yeah. know. And so uh, I found the director, I found the actors, and, and it was really exciting. It was like the coolest thing ever. It's like wow. What was that like for you to, you know, produce your first film? I'm assuming is this it a was first oh film? yeah, I'm an actor. Okay. Like this, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh that. yeah. <laughs> so what never was that really like, like for you before. to, you know, really kind of bird this project? It was the greatest feel. It's like my child, you know. I feel mm. like I just, well, I don't feel like I gave birth on Saturday. Could you imagine just coming in here like, hey, everybody. <laughs> I just gave birth. I just gave birth. birth. Well, up, but it was very much <laughs> like <-partum>. raising, <laughs> you know, rearing this child yeah. for uh, for a while and then like sending it off to school. Mm -hmm. I feel like on Saturday we just sent the baby off there, the kid off to school for the first mm -hmm. time. It's like, I don't know if people are going to like him or hate him or think he's weird or, you know, <laughs> if he's going to get lice or whatever. But yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, it went, it went, I think it went really well. Yeah, I want to yeah. know about the reception. How did it the go? The reception was unbelievable. And, you know, it, it deals with, uh, with people with disabilities. Mm. And so we had some people with disabilities in the audience. And um, it's a comedy. I mean, it's like, you know, it's a, it's a pretty, they're a broad comedy at times. I mean, it's got a, a lot of heart and humor mm -hmm. to it. Um, but it, yeah, but it's, it's a, it, it's a, and, you know, we just wanted to, I, I was watching them in the audience, just seeing how they were reacting. At, at the end, they were just, they loved it. oh my God, they were so, yeah, they were so happy. It was so nice to see, yeah. Well, and that's just amazing. hearing from, from a bunch of people over the course of the weekend. Well, and like, if, wow. they, if they missed it on this weekend. Well, that's okay. That's, that's why I'm here. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, where else might, might we be able to catch it in the coming okay, weeks or months? Well, well, if somebody, it's playing two more times South by Southwest. Great. So if uh, anybody feels like a late night movie tomorrow, is today Monday? Today's Monday. That's hey a tricky where one. Are we? Yeah. What's going on? What so city are we in? <laughs> what city is where this are we? What's happening? It feels What's happening? Like Austin. Um, yeah, so uh, it's playing Tuesday night, 11, 15 p.m. at the uh, Alamo Lamar. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's and then by. it's playing uh, Wednesday, 11 a.m. at the Stateside Theater. Mm -hmm. okay. so, so if you like it so much, you saw it on Tuesday <laughs> night and you had to see it just one more time. Yeah. Wake up early in the morning. And if you saw it and you didn't like it, go away. <laughs> go away. <laughs> Support him, though. We want to we want to <laughs> support him, though, in his first producing project. Well, uh, as Vasavi mentioned, she kind of wanted to delve just a little yes. bit more into this, as far as because uh, it's about boys basically saying like, "I'm independent. I'm a I'm a real adult. Yep. This is me." I'm so a real boy. I'm a real boy. I'm a so real man. I'm a real, <laughs> real man. man. I'm a man. <laughs> so, how did you embrace your independence um, in your real life, and and how did that help you kind of uh, prepare for this role in the movie? Um. Yeah, I've been thinking about that question, uh, I, and I keep I, my mind keeps running to uh, the road trip that I took out to Los Angeles. From, we're both from the East Coast. We're both Long, Long Island, Island, Strong people. Island, baby. Long, Long Island, Strong oh Island. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I took uh, after college, I took a road trip across the country to Los Angeles in my mother's Volkswagen Rabbit. 
with all the stuff packed in the back and oh the drive cross country. And that in particular wasn't really the embracing the independence part because, uh, well, my mom was there. But it was <laughs> as soon as she left, that whole process of being in Los Angeles and living on my own was, yeah. was a pretty big, you know, independence embracer. Was that scary for you? You know, yeah, just like absolutely. literally moving cross country? And yeah, I didn't. Well, I knew some people, but I didn't. I had no family out there. I didn't really have, um, you know, I didn't have a home base mm -hmm. in particular. So, uh, yeah, most of my family is still back in New York. You know, you I always want to check. Like, I, I was mm -hmm. asking a, a panel list this weekend. What's the weirdest job you work to try and make things happen for you? Like, make ends meet? Because I know in L.A. you mm. end up thinking, like, every server or every busboy that you come across is like an aspiring actor, somebody who's well, trying they're all to my friends. I know all of them. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Everywhere I go, I mean, it's great because, you know, they give you discounts on food and drinks and hey, stuff. Hey, that's amazing. Um, yeah, so I can eat anywhere pretty much. Be, oh, you know so-and-so, and it's like, great, free drink. Nice. Awesome. Didn't actually know that person. <laughs> um, just kidding. Um, <laughs> but uh, for <laughs> me, God, what did I do? I, I, I've been pretty lucky in that I, I didn't really have to do a lot of those jobs. I've been working since I was a kid. I've been Royal tenant bombs? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a tenant bow. Proud um, of it. Proud of it. I am actually. I'm yeah, a, you should I'm be. I'm a proud That's, tenant yeah. Um But uh, yeah, I was pretty lucky that I didn't really have to do a lot of that stuff. But there was a period where I was working as a social media coordinator for oh. a photographer. Um, the best part of that, that I, was that I got to be around beautiful women all the time. Sure. Um, the worst part was I was really bad at social media. And it was just kind of <laughs> my hey, friend being like, hey, I know job. you need a job, but here you go. I remember like one day I just, I, I, I woke up too late and I forgot to post. Um, and he was frantically calling me like, where's the morning post? And I was like, am I fired? He was like, yeah. You're like, good, yeah. I don't, I don't want to be here anyway. I don't want to be here anyway. <laughs> No, actually, he was, <laughs> he was like, I'll pay you for the end of the week, but you got to go. Oh. <laughs> I was really bad. I can only really act and, and make movies. <laughs> well, that's TV good. Know your strengths. What you, yeah. I know my Stick strengths. What you know. Yeah. That's important. Yeah, um, I just need everybody else to, so I can <laughs> stay working. Everybody uh, else acknowledge how good he is at the acting and producing. Uh, we just want to do a, a quick re weekend recap. Has it been a fun one for you it's here? It's been a fun weekend. I haven't really gotten to do anything that fun, even though I know yeah. there's so much fun stuff. And that's the worst, because it's like, hey, you got into South by South. West Film Festival. And we're like, that's amazing. That's the coolest festival to go to. And basically, you're being, you know, once you, when you're in a film, especially, it's just like you're being shepherded around. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's like here, and then you're there, and it's like being on this crazy roller coaster. And it's like, oh, you're passing all these amazing things. And I remember we were going down Rainy on Saturday. Um, and there's so much happening. Yes, already. there's a lot of so much cool stuff happening. Yeah. And I'm just like, look at all these people having so much fun. And not that I wasn't having fun. I mean, it's been great, but I haven't gotten to do like the taco, t the tacos. I, I, like, Wait, I have you had tacos. tacos yet? Have you had tacos yet while you've okay, been here? Okay, yeah, I went to, um, what's that place, Latchkey? And we went through the, you know, Latchkey on 6th? Uh, uh, I, I don't, but oh. was it good? Don't either. Oh, well, let me well, tell now you. Is he telling go. us about tell what's happening here in There's a taco town? truck in the back Latch of Latchkey. <laughs> Why am that I love now? that I got to school the locals. Yeah, That's mean, awesome. What is this? Come on, guys. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, that was about the only tacos that I had. But I feel like I've barely scratched the surface. Yeah, there are Austin. plenty of places to get you some tacos yeah. here in Austin. Can, can I, g what, give me, like, two places just because... I'm I obsessed go with right torches. Yeah. torches. You got to order trailer park trashy. Okay. <laughs> you say those three words, okay. they're going to give you, they're going to take away the lettuce. They okay. take off the good, like healthy stuff. Okay, they my put girlfriend's over there. They add trailer, trailer park trashy. Trailer, trailer park, park trash trashy at torches. Uh, and at you torches. will have, you have a full belly and you will be very happy afterwards. Yes. And then the other two options I have for you is a Tyson's. Our producer, Brittany, mm -hmm. absolutely swears She's by this place. Notes. Tyson's. Hey. She's actually She's literally right down the corner. Tyson's and also Taco Deli, which is actually like three minutes from here, right? Like three yeah. or five minutes. We can hook you up with some breakfast yeah. migas tacos, like just yes. around the corner. All right, yeah, we're going to do that right <laughs> now. Are you sure? Right oh, now. I'm starving. Let's do this. Grant, thank you so much. <laughs> we appreciate you thank being you. here. We're